Hello, and welcome to the Atlanta Opera Podcast. I'm Thomas Vulun, the General and Artistic Director of the Atlanta Opera and Co-Director of La Boheme and Rent. Here are five things to know about the Boheme Project. Number one, pairing La Boheme with Rent. This production of La Boheme is somewhat of a trailblazer. Most critically, this is the first time that a professional opera company is tackling both pieces at the same time. The opera La Boheme by Giacomo Puccini and the musical Rent by Jonathan Larson share a unique kinship, despite their distinct musical styles and their separation by a century. It is the same story with mostly the same characters. The main plot and the subplot are similar, and they focus on young people that are going through the same challenges, falling in love for the first time, struggling to find a path when one is young creating a sense of community and friends, fighting adversities, in this case, a world pandemic, and most importantly, finding a way to deal with something that every human being will have to encounter at some point, confronting a heartbreaking loss of a loved one. Here is a fact that stunned me when I researched these works. Puccini premiered his most popular opera, La Boheme, on February 1st, 1896. Larson's musical was workshopped for a few years between 1993 and 1996, but the off-Broadway premiere occurred on January 26, 1996, a hundred years apart, almost to the day. Point number two, through composed structure. A performance of most operas and musical theater works involve the ebb and flow of energy. A stop and start. In the case of operas, there are arias or musical ensembles that are separated by recitatives or some other forms of accompanied or non-accompanied dialogue. Just think of Mozart's Magic Flute, or Annie Handel, or Monteverdi operas, or even Carmen by Bizet. What is so exciting about La Boheme is that it is different. Puccini, and his fellow Verismo composers of the time never stopped the music for dialogue. There are no barriers between the numbers, no separation of musical styles and emotional connection. Same goes for Jonathan Larson's work. Other musical theater works, all you need to do is think of Cabaret or Fiddler on the Roof, for example. Halt for spoken dialogue that carries the story forward, but not in Rent. The through-composed nature of these works maintain an uninterrupted flow of music and narrative that hijacks the audience's attention and emotional connection from beginning to end. Rent truly adopts this principle with songs like One Song Glory, La Vie Boheme, and Seasons of Love interweaving with flexible lines of sung dialogue. La Boheme goes from duet to arias to ensembles in a dazzling, unstoppable manner. That is the reason that so many people, me included, find these works so irresistible. Number three, immersive productions. Producing the musical Rent and the opera La Boheme in an immersive environment echoes and amplifies the impact of their through-composed structure because it eliminates physical and conceptual barriers between the performers and the audience. In such a setting, the continuous musical flow of these works, remember, they never stop, is mirrored by an uninterrupted theatrical experience where the audience is enveloped in the action. The action happens all around them. The characters' experiences, whether the passionate love affairs and artistic struggles of La Boheme or the gritty realities and vibrant defiance in Rent, become so much more visceral, so much more compelling, as the audience is not merely observing the action, but is actually participating in the drama. Pullman Yards, which is a prominent warehouse in Atlanta with a significant history, is nestled in a vibrant community of artists and creatives that frequently avoid the mainstream themselves. By blurring the lines between stage and audience, 
The environment emphasizes the interconnectedness of the characters' lives and their surroundings. In La Boheme, the audience finds themselves in the bustling streets of a big city or the intimate loft of the artists. In Rent, they're amidst the vibrant chaos of the East Village in New York. This continuous enveloping experience reinforces the thematic elements of community, of struggle, of celebration of life, and it makes the emotional peaks and valleys of these works more poignant and more profound. Point number four, the arts and black swans. Scott Sagan once said, things that have never happened before happen all the time. There are black swan events in the world, rare, unpredictable events that have profound and unexpected impact on the world. Recessions, wars, or pandemics. Those are events that have profound and unexpected impact on the world. New types of adversities hit the world every few years. Often they hit the most vulnerable demographics. In this case, artists. Puccini's La Boheme was written at the end of the 19th century, when the pandemic of the time was tuberculosis. Rent, which was written at the end of the 20th century, incredibly to me almost 30 years ago, features a pandemic that many of us remember vividly, HIV. Our immersive production of La Boheme at Pullman Yards updates the story to our times and the coronavirus pandemic, which left an indelible mark on each and every one of us. Among the many people and places that suffered, the setbacks for artists and the performing arts industry were especially profound. The COVID era shone a massive spotlight on the devastation of pandemics and how rituals and customs and livelihoods we take for granted sometimes come to a screeching halt. Artists are not only typically the most vulnerable group to these black swans, but they are often the demographic that is best equipped to tell powerful stories about those times. That is the essence of our Bowen project. Last but not least, number five. Three pandemics, three centuries, one story. The Bohème project has incubated in our minds since the dawn of the pandemic. Seeing so many artists out of work brought thoughts of La Bohème and Rodolfo and Marcello, of Roger and Mark from Rent, burning their poems to keep warm. Those thoughts suddenly hit close to home and an idea was born. What if we could tell the same story over three different centuries, over three different pandemics, over three different productions that are entirely and completely different from each other, breaking the boundaries of both genres and traditional theater? We began with the La Boheme as traditional as Puccini imagined it to be. We showcased it in our quote-unquote normal theater this past February. The two remaining productions of the Bohem Project are presented at Pullman Yards. Jonathan Larson's Puccini-inspired Rent, set during the darkest days of the HIV AIDS epidemic, and La Bohème, which is set during the 2020s COVID-19 pandemic. This is it. I'm Thomas Vulun. Thank you for joining me for the Atlanta Opera Podcast. If you enjoyed learning more about the Bohem Project, please rate and review this podcast on Apple Podcasts. It's a great way for more people like you to find out about our work. And don't forget to follow the Atlanta Opera Podcast for more great episodes. Oh.